Hey, we're back on the project. It is January 2nd, and uh, we're going to finish putting on all the uh, front steering hardware and what else? Steering box and all that stuff. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so first step is to start putting all the spindle hardware on. So we have the bracket for the brake caliper and then the dust shield. Kind of go on together. And uh, put the steering knuckle on now, kind of all goes together. I'm going to pack the bearings by hand. I don't have a bearing packer. That should be enough, James. Okay. Again, they're not, if they're brand new bearings, it take a lot longer to do. Roll it. Yeah, and see that groove on the on this side here? Yeah, yeah, get it, definitely get it in there. Okay. And then yeah, spin the inside. There you go. And we'll start sucking that stuff in. Okay, next step is put the rotor on. Let's go ahead, James, and slip that on. The seal and bearing is already in the back. That bearing in the front. There we go. And the washer. And castle nut. Set the bearings, get it kind of tight. Give it a little bit, a little bit more. That's good. You feel that. Okay, so you know everything's set. Now start backing it off a little bit at a time. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, see if it wiggles. How's it? Any wiggle at all? No. Okay. Now remember where the pinholes are? Yes. Yeah. So just back it off one notch at a time. So is the adjustment good, James? Yes. How's it spin? Nice? Mm-hmm. Nice. Just a little tiny bit of wiggle? Yep. Okay. I'll throw the pin through there. That's good. Okay. So those uh, calipers are they're tough to put on. It's definitely a two-man job. <laughs> um, again, these are the old four-piston, two inboard, two outboard. Um, I believe they were made by Kelsey Hayes. Uh, in 69, they went to the single piston ones, which are much simpler. So the calipers are on. We just spent, I don't know, James, how long? At least an hour. An hour, awesome. yeah. Getting these little brake lines on, those little S-shaped brake lines, and those hoses on. Um, they are quite the bear to get on. I can see why GM changed this whole mess uh, after a couple of years. But they're on. So the next step. Okay, so it's time to put the steering box on. This is the original manual steering box. We're converting it over to power, which is this new box. Uh, needed a new pitman arm. So we basically have both boxes. We counted how many revolutions lock to lock um, and um, got the position the same uh, for the shaft on both boxes. And now what we'll do is we'll put the pitman arm on and use the nut and the washer from the old box. Okay, before we put the box in, we need to put the steering column on. It's keyed. It's supposed to go all the way up to that? Or? Um, yeah. Should be truthful. We uh, did have to redo the rag joint um, connection. 
uh, it wasn't quite right how it was, but a little persuasion and it worked. All right, and the box is in. We got to tighten up the rag joint. And I'll double check on torque spec for that too, James. So just kind of snug them up. And there's the one on the bottom too. Okay, the drag link is on along with the idler arm. So next step is we'll put the um, tie rod ends on. Or tie rod, yeah, inners and outers on. Thank you. So now what we're going to do is we still need to um, tighten down the nut on the bottom of the steering box, which is 150 foot-pounds, um, which is really tight. <laughs> so uh, now that we have everything hooked together, we can do that, hopefully. Um, nothing's torqued down yet on the front suspension. We'll do that after we get the pitman arm set. All right, we'll try to tighten down this bolt and set the pitman arm. You okay holding the wheel? Yeah. We got all the front suspension, steering linkage, and everything on. Uh, went fairly smooth. We had a little problem with the steering box and the rag joint. Um, it didn't quite fit on there when you put the clamp bolt and everything on. Um, that being the clamp bolt right there, um, right there, um, had to modify the shaft a little bit. Um, but other than that, we've got it all together. Pretty productive day today. We've got all of the steering components and everything on the front of the car. Pretty close to being able to bolt some wheels on. Um, not much is going to happen through the month of January. I'm basically out of town and on the road for work for the month of January. Uh, pick it back up again in February. Uh, next step. Well, more than likely we'd start digging into the top end of the LS uh, and uh, getting that prepared um, and ready to hopefully get put back in. So stay tuned.